The demonstration that follows will be a review of the Home tab and walkthrough of the various features of the Home tab within BoomiFlow. Here we'll take a look at the BoomiFlow Home tab. Now I'm using my subtenant that has the app that we're about to create already shown. So you can see that this flow is that of our BoomiFlow employee app that we're about to build, but we're just going to walk through some of the parts of the Home tab. Here we can see our Flows page. And if we click on the Pages icon here, we can see our employee app page is shown. So this is a, a quick way to get to our page layouts where we can create a new page layout too. And if we click on values, we can see the values that have been created through the building of this app. We can see a look into some of the values that you're gonna be working with when we're building our app. All you need to do is simply click on new value to create a new value. And then we're gonna click on services. So here's where we have our services or third-party service integrations. Here we used an email service. Then we can click on types. And you can see some types. We have some system types and some types that were created for the app. If we click on assets, we can see here that there's a Dell Boomi logo, and if we wanted to simply add more files, we just click in this box and it'll access our computer drive where we would have our files saved. We have our tenant, and this shows that we're in our subtenant. You see our email, which is our username, and my first and last name. We can add a new user, and this is just a look into the subtenant. Then we have our API. The API is where we can interact with BoomiFlow even more in depth. Click on import and export. This gives us the ability to import or export flows. So here if I click on select a flow, we have you'll see that we have our BoomiFlow employee app that we can select. And we can generate a sharing token or download the JSON package. Here we can also import a sharing token or a JSON package. And if we click on players, you'll see another screen where we could edit a player. We can look at the default player. So you can see the code that lies behind the default player. The default player is not editable, but you can copy it and then edit it from there if you've created a new player. Then we'll click on macros. And here we can create or edit macros. Remember, macros are going to be mathematical functions that we can create in BoomiFlow. The only mathematical operation that we can't do is division. If we click on metrics, we can view the running flows. We can see if there's any service failures, service requests, and other insight into our services and the states that we've created. If we click on dashboard, We'll see some more information about our flows and we can see the number of times that the flow states have been launched. And then we can click on Docs. And this will take us to our Docs site where we have our BoomiFlow documentation. There's a wide variety of additional information that you can use here to learn more about BoomiFlow and how to work with the tool. And then we have our support where you can submit a ticket if you come across a problem with your account or with your BoomiFlow and then our ability to sign out of our account. So then I'm just going to click on the flows page to return back to where we started. And then that brings us to the end of our walkthrough of the home tab.